Hello everybody, Hepcat Harley here again and uh, it's uh, time for part two of the sign writing the doghouse bike and uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for all your kind uh, comments in the last video it was a massive success actually <laughs> something I'm not used to uh, I think there was 2,000 views in the first day and a half and about f um, 50 extra subs so that's uh, brilliant going yeah, keep it up Feel free to subscribe down below. I think that's what they say. It doesn't cost anything. Some people have actually thought it costs money to subscribe. It doesn't. It's absolutely free. It just gives you um, a little reminder. Sometimes if you, if you subscribe and press the bell, I'm sure you know this, you get a notification that comes up and uh, tells you when the next video of mine is up. And uh, you can just click on and view if you want. Yeah, so today... I'm going to have a little crack at the primary case, which uh, Dan's um, taken. Um, he wants the insignia or whatever you call it, sort of artwork that his granddad had on his jacket. And um, we're replicating that. I'll just show you how we're getting on and we'll we'll go through the process of doing that. It's not all handwritten this time. So there is um, a few different ways of doing this. I could have handwritten it, but it would have taken definitely two coats. And I wanted to try and get this uh, ready for writing today. So what I did, I nipped into work and got a little digital, what we call Apple mask. And I don't know whether you've seen this before, but it's a very easy thing. Um, I mean, I've got some here. I've got one here for the red. You literally just have a, uh, this is Apple mask material or sign mask. It's called def different names. And you just basically cut out what you want to paint in and it, the rest is a mask, obviously. So yeah, I've done that with the white. Um, let's move this microphone around. So that, uh, all I did, put the mask on and uh, sponged sponged on the, uh, the paint. You don't need a brush. You don't need any kit for this, really. Just stick it on. And I used a sponge and just dabbed it on. And that sponge brings up a few bubbles. You be you're better off with... Um, baby sponge because it's got really fine holes in it so you're not pulling loads of air in the paint or pulling loads of air in it and you dab it on and then give it a minute and then very very lightly with the same sponge just touch it and then bubbles will burst and you get a you get a finish as good as you as if you'd sprayed it you don't get any any brush marks at all so i like to do that process for this kind of thing I'm going to do the same for the um, petrol tank. Again, this is an Apple mask, and uh, this is a, an absolute correct font. It's a, a wartime. See, the top of the eight is a round circle, and the bottom isn't. It's like a, well, you know, like a straight sided with a circle at the bottom, but it's not even a circle at the bottom. It's a tapered, tapered curve. Same with the letter C. And I've digitally drawn this up to absolutely perfection from photographs. Sure. Call it cheating, I don't care. That is that is a pain to write by hand, freehand anyway. So I'm just doing an Apple mask and I know it's going to be right. The only thing that can go wrong, this is my risk assessment, is that if I put this mask on that's here on top of the white, it might pull the white off. If it does, it's a major catastrophe and we'll have to do it again. But uh, I don't think it will. The one thing I will have to do by hand on this is because the computer, although it could cut it, the letters that go above in the corners, I don't know if you can see them there. Um, there's an ace on that one, and there's a one and a, obviously a three. I've got to do those by hand uh, because I couldn't weed them out. They were so small that um, the vinyls just weren't coming out. So, um, yeah. So we'll do that anyway, so we'll have a little bit of freehand stuff to do on this. If my eyes will let me do it. <clears throat> so let me carry on then, I'll get this paint mixed up and I'll bring you back. Okay, uh, <clears throat> this is just a normal sponge really, because I'm not going down the chemist for a special one, but that's not too bad, that's, that'll be fine. It's, it's those holes you don't want, because they'll put loads of air in. So I'm going to use this edge, I'll just cut this uh, from a big car sponge. A little bit of red on there. Okay, I'm just going to apply the Apple mask now if I can find it. Here we go. I'm just going to uh, position it over the top just very loosely. I can see it. Yeah, 
that's near enough. So just a little light touch there and where I need it to stick will do. Fill that back. I'm just trying to not get it to stick too much. Just need to stick where I want it to. Just on there, there, there. One, two, three, four. You don't need a load of paint in it. Just make sure, obviously, that you're getting it all. Otherwise, you will be uh, going backwards and painting it in with a by hand. And you see, it's uh, it's probably not. You know, it's got the the air in the paint because you because you're using a sponge. Press it down if you need to. That's flowing out quite nicely actually because I've um, pre-thinned this paint. I'm just going to give it a minute just so it doesn't run uh, when I've taken the mask off. So I'll come back in a minute. Right, so it's had about five minutes. What you need now is a very sharp scalpel. You want a fixed blade scalpel, something like that. Don't use one of these because, as you can see, the blade wobbles around and you'll probably end up digging into the background with it. it they're awful to use, so don't bother with those. Get yourself a proper scalpel that's fixed. And this is where you've got to be really careful. Just get the bit that we haven't stuck down. That's it, just there. And you're probably going to get your fingers painted up as well doing this. But don't worry about it. The, more, the important thing is we get this off nice and clean. We can clean our fingers after. Obviously don't drop it over on top of itself. That was one of the letters there trying to, um, trying to stick. Got to blob a bit of white on there just where it's crept under slightly. But we're doing good so far. I'm quite happy with this. We've not had any major catastrophe. He says, yeah, good. Don't dig with it. Just pull, you know, slide across. So slide it away. It should be good. That's good. Happy with that. So I haven't got to blob any white on. So now I've got to write the uh, numbers on. Ace, two and three and then line it with black. Right, we're back. Um, chosen this brush, an old favorite of mine from years ago. I think this one's a nylon one, but it's quite, um, it's quite good for small stuff. This is all greased up at the moment, but uh, just take the excess off. Very old brushes. <laughs> right, quick swell out in some white spirit. And white with a rag. We're good to go. Now we see already that my eyes ain't awesome at this. Right, important thing is, because I've been running around, just calm down. Just uh, get your breath back, calm down, think of happy thoughts. And uh, all should be good. Right, wait till it settles down. You have to be very careful really, make sure your stick's not going on anything and let's put some serifs on there. That's the foot of the letter if you, did, if you didn't know. Right, that's the first one, can you see? Get you in there. There you go. So I've got two on that one. Put you back up there so you can see. Where are you? Let's have and get you in close, I will. I'm just gonna get that steady if I can. Put 
didn't stick over here, I should be all right. Not happy with that. Always pays not to make mistakes, but it just makes the job longer. But when you've got eyes like mine, <laughs> and this is moving. Okay, uh, got a little bit of black and uh, I'm going to have to use it straight out of tin because I can't find any bean tins or anything. So I just uh, put a bit of tape where it helps me. I'm going to go above the card there. Without touching that, eh? Um, it just means I've got one edge to to worry about and not the other because the, if I go on the obviously if I go on the uh, tape it will come off anyway so do down the side here of the two and the side of the three the looks of it on the bottom maybe just makes life easier Just rub it between your hands, just take more of the um, tackiness out of it. Then you shouldn't have any problems. You can also just put a bit under the two. A little bit above the two maybe. Right, let's take it from there, same brush. I think we'll be alright with that. Tiny little bit of a touch up. That's it. Well, I think that's as much as I dare go. Let's I'll put a little bit of a drop shadow on it. Should I or should I not? No, I'm going to leave it. It hasn't got one on the artwork, so I shouldn't mess about. Stop messing about, Ian. Right. 
So that's that one done. We've just got the tank to do next. Oh, I'll take the light out of it. There we go. So uh, that was the three cards and the initials. Um, the outline's a bit off, but, you know, it's done by hand. And my eyes ain't what they used to be. <laughs> Excuses again. Right, OK. I'm going to leave that at that. And I thank you again for watching. And uh, I look forward to reading your comments. Um, yeah, let me know if you used to be a sign writer and you had to pack up because of the uh, the old 90s syndrome, you know, where everything went digital. Let me know. It'd be nice to keep in uh, touch with a few old boys that used to do it full time. Um, yeah, all right. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.